Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna get a little more in depth in the flip tool that was added in SketchUp 2023. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the flip tool can be found by going up into the getting started tool set or by going over into the large tool set on the left hand side of your screen. If you don't see either one of those, you can right click in the toolbar area and check the getting started or large tool set options. But what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we want to activate the tool or you can select an object first, but then we wanna click on the object. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up these different colored planes like this. And so you can use those different colored planes to see what direction your objects are going to be flipped. And so if I click in here, notice how it's going to flip these objects along this plane right here. So you can use this in order to quickly flip these objects based on this bounding box right here. And it's going to flip these based on the central point. Now, one thing to note about this is you can change where these are flipped by clicking and dragging this option. Notice that your inferencing does stay in place when we do that. But if I drag this over here, for example, it's going to flip this whole thing about that new plane that I dragged over here on the left-hand side of the page. And so if you do wanna flip an object and not just keep it in place, you can use that drag function in order to do that. Now, one thing to note really quick is in 2023, this replaced the flip along function that was in SketchUp. So this is SketchUp 2022. If I right clicked on it, remember that there was an option to flip along the components red, components green, or components blue like this. I never really used this just because um, I had a little bit of a hard time picking the right axes. Um, it was pretty simple, but I usually ended up using the scale tool in order to flip objects instead. But note that now in this new version, if I right click on something, notice how there's no longer a flip along option like there was before. Now, while the flip along function isn't in here, we do still have the ability if you go to your window preferences under your shortcuts and you search for flip, like this, you can add a keyboard shortcut um, to flip these along these different axes. So for example, if I wanted to add a flip along the red axis, I could just do like a control, I, I saw somebody say they do a control R, but now if I click on the plus button and click on okay, now if I select this object and I do a control R, this is going to flip along the red axis. So if you do want a fast way to flip along the red, blue, and green axes, you can set up keyboard shortcuts in order to do that. Now one other function in here that um, makes a little bit more sense once you know that the planes can move is let's say that I wanted to make a copy, right? So if I wanted to take this object and I wanted to make a copy over here, originally what we would have to do is use the move tool in copy mode, create a copy, and then flip this object, right? So not very intuitive. Um, you could definitely do it. It doesn't take a ton of time, but if you do a lot of that, um, it can get a little bit time consuming. What we could do instead though, is we could just select the object and we can click and drag like this. And so what that's gonna do right now is that's gonna flip that across the central point, right? However, if we drag and then we tap the control key, notice how we get a little plus in here. The plus is going to allow us to create a copy that's putting us in copy mode. So that allows us to really quickly create a copy like this. And then let's say we wanna do that whole thing again. We could do the same thing with this object Just like this. And it is nice that the inferencing on these planes does work. But now we're able to flip that object really quickly. Now, one other thing to note is note that this is setting the direction that things flip based on the object axes. So if I come in here and click on this object, notice how right now, because I rotated this object, the um, flip directions are set based on that rotation. And really what they're set based on is the directions that the object axes are going like this. So because these are aligned with my object, um, this still makes sense when it comes to the directions that this would flip. Now, if I was to come in here and I was to activate the flip tool, notice how there's also an option here to toggle your global and local axes. What that means is that means if I tap the Alt key, notice how these directions change. And so they've changed because they're now aligned with the global axes, which are over here. So not the individual object axes, but the, uh, the axes of your entire 
model. So notice how now this is gonna flip based on that. But if I tap the Alt key, what that's going to do is that's going to change these so that they're referencing the individual object axes. Then you also have the ability to tap the left, right, and up keys in order to just flip along those planes really quickly. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. I will link to my video about all the features contained in SketchUp 2023 on this page. Also, if you're interested in learning how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course. That's my course where I teach you start to finish how to use SketchUp, and I include access to a community forum as well as live calls so you can make sure that you're getting the help that you need. So if you're interested in that, I'll link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.